By the authority granted me by the state of Texas. Tonto, the sidekick, just defeated the Lone Ranger, and now he's dragging him about like a namby pamby sissy was. You know what? I'm still gonna give it a chance. This is the origin story. Eventually, Dan catches up with them and arrests Tonto. Later, Rebecca, Dan's wife, shows up to check on them and, um... Oh, God, look at you. City boy. Is it just me, or does Rebecca seem to have a thing for John? That's awkward and weird. Dan assembles a posse to track and capture Butch Cavendish. And he deputizes John and asks him to come along. Um, why? He's a lawyer, not a ranger. He doesn't like to use guns. And you already saw him try, emphasis on the word try, to apprehend two fugitives. I guess he just feels sorry for his little brother. And thus we get to the most famous part of the story. And I have the distinct pleasure of telling you the legend of the Lone Ranger. Eight rangers enter the canyon, under the blistering sun, searching for outlaws. But instead, they found an ambush. Eight rangers were gunned down. Eight rangers fell to the ground. Eight rangers went into that canyon, but only one came back out. A Lone Ranger. Wait a minute! What is Tonto doing there? Last time we saw him, he was in jail. How did he escape? How'd you get out of jail anyway? Really, you don't think that this is a part of the story important enough to explain? <sighs> yep. The Lone Ranger getting dragged through shit. No, there's no metaphor here. This is blatant symbolism. John wakes up only to find that Tonto has nursed him back to health and placed him atop a tall wooden structure. I would ask how exactly Tonto carried him up there, but I'm sure this is one of the many things in this movie that will not be explained. What Tonto does explain is that he is on a quest to get revenge on Butch Cavendish and that the spirits told him that he would be helped on his quest by a great spirit walker, a man that cannot be killed in battle. Tonto was hoping that that spirit walker would be Dan, but the spirit horse, Silver, told him otherwise. Tonto further exposits that John should use the fact that the bad guys think that he's dead to his advantage and wear a mask. A mask that he carved out of Dan's vest, using the bullet holes as eye holes. Hmm, poetic. John reluctantly agrees to join him as the Lone Ranger, for the sake of bringing his brother's killer to justice. Not a man. An evil spirit born in the empty spaces of the desert. With a hunger that cannot be satisfied. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and the power to throw nature out of balance. And while we're on the subject of distracting weird shit, the reason Tonto believes Butch to be an evil creature of myth, my people call this spirit Wendigo, is cause Butch has the habit of eating the flesh of his enemies. Like for example, he cut out Dan's heart and ate it. How's that for Disney Family Fun? Come to think of it, that is nothing like the Marvel villain Wendigo. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What they're referencing in this movie is an actual character from Western folklore. <laughs> well, you know what? It's still more accurate than Christopher Nolan's version of Bane. Yes, this is the real Bane. Talking to Erod. I hear you're going around misrepresenting Bane. I don't like it. When I see you, I will break your back. Well, bring it on, Buttercup. You ready to dance? Because I'm ready to dance. Erod, who is that incredibly handsome fellow? Hell if I know, but somebody should really tell him that he's only supposed to wear his headgear at night when he goes to bed. So John's first act as the Lone Ranger is to go to a whorehouse. Yeah, I'm sure this is exactly what Franz Stryker envisioned when he created the Lone Ranger in the 30s. The Lone Ranger and Tonto 
going to a whorehouse. Hi, Concho. <sighs> Our heroes make inquiries about the ranger that betrayed them, as he apparently was a regular at this particular establishment. So they go to talk to the owner. Helena Bone Carter! Helena Bone Carter. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot we weren't playing Tim Burton Bingo. <laughs> My bad. Ma'am? What's with the mask? I know, I know, I know! It's just a little running gag! Anyway, Helena plays the madam of this brothel. And her name is Red Harrington. <laughs> what? Was misdirecting MacGuffin taken? It's cold, is uh... Well, he is no longer guided by the same imperatives as other men. Is this supposed to be a joke at the expense of heterosexual men? You know, how we still find fake breasts appealing, and since this is the Wild West, and women dress more conservatively, men would find a bare prosthetic leg just as appealing as a real one. Cause if that's the case, that is one elaborate joke. I want to touch. Uh-uh. if you favor your hand. Red decides to help them after she finds out that they are after Butch, who apparently was the one that took her leg. She warns them that Butch is part of a big conspiracy connected to the building of the railroad. Tonto agrees, says the reason Butch managed to escape was because someone planted a gun in the train for him. Suddenly, our heroes are chased out of Red's room by an angry mob trying to kill Tonto, as apparently, Comanches have been attacking the townspeople of Colby. Worried that Rebecca is one of the people attacked, Lone Ranger and Tonto hightail it to her home on Silver. Nature is indeed out of balance. That is extremely similar to a scene from The Legend of Zorro. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 get it out! You had enough! <laughs> you know what? It's probably one of those silly coincidences that I am usually so sensitive to. Our heroes arrive at Rebecca's home only to discover two things. One, that Rebecca and her son Danny are missing. And two, that it wasn't the Comanche attacking the people of Colby. It was Butch's men disguised as Comanche. The villains trap Lone Ranger and Tonto in the barn, and then set the barn on fire. Texas Ranger! Oh, yeah. With the mask. Come, come, little running gag. Let's see if we can sell this epic to Disney. <laughs> Some horse. All right, I guess I'll add this to the list of crap they don't plan to explain. So our heroes escape the flaming barn and face their attackers. Great shot! That was supposed to be a warning shot. In that case, not so good. Alright, stop, 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 stop! I respect the fact that Ted Elliott and Terry Russio are trying to create their own version of the Lone Ranger, where he is a tenderfoot from the city that becomes a badass lawman. But, they should at least still respect the integrity of the character! And the one attribute the Lone Ranger has had in all of his different incarnations is that he is an expert marksman. He never misses! And if he does, there's generally a good reason. If he meant to fire a warning shot, then he would have fired a warning shot. Nailing the bad guys by accident like he's Inspector Clouseau or Mr. Magoo is just insulting. And don't you dare tell me that he did that ricochet bullet trick on purpose, because there's only one cowboy that can pull that off. And he is the best there is. Mr. County. Took a big chance. If I was a hair quicker, you'd be dead. Nah. You fired 12 shots. You're out of bullets. Even an Indian can't track through that. We follow horse scheme or something. Why do you keep calling me that? What does that mean? Wrong brother.
That is not what Kimosabi means. Why, you, you Kimosabi. Kimosabi? That sounds familiar. That's right, Kimosabi. You trusty scout. Trusty scout? So our heroes do their best to follow the villains, trail back to Butch's hideout, when they are suddenly attacked by actual Comanche. You are like sissy girl! As it turns out, the reason Tonto acts nothing like an actual Comanche is because he was exiled at a young age from his tribe when he gave away the secret location of a silver mine to a couple of white men in exchange for a cheap pocket watch. The men then killed everyone in Tonto's tribe to keep the mine a secret. And the men responsible for this atrocity are none other than Latham Cole. and his brother, Butch Cavendish, who we already knew was a bad guy, so it's not quite as shocking. 